Welcome back to the Mouse Diva channel. Hope you saw part one of this haul. Ooh, yeah. I've been all around the world. Let's talk Gideon's. Okay. We all know Gideon's is totally worth the, the wait. And if you don't know what Gideon's is, it is a cookie shop with the best, thickest cookies, seasonal cookies, cakes, just good stuff. And each month they have the little cards with their special monthly cookies and cakes and that type of stuff. But the other side is always some type of artwork, which I adore these. Like I will stand in line just to get the cards. And so we ended up, they, when you get in line, they're like, have you been naughty or have you been nice? So if you've been nice, you get this one. If you've been naughty, you get this one. I love them both. I wish I had one for every month, but obviously I'm not there every month. And for the first time we ordered like Tom got some type of like, well, we, I drank some of it too. It was like a mint mocha. Oh, it was a special. It was, um, nitro cold brew on tap. It was a limited time Krampus cold brew with chocolate mint. That's what it was. And, um, so this was the sleeve that went on there. And so I kept that too, because it had some cool artwork. I knew that they sold candles, um, but somebody in line in front of us asked something about a t-shirt and then they brought out a t-shirt. And so when we got up there, I asked the guy, I said, do you sell t-shirts? And he says, yeah. He says, turn around. And in that case, those are the designs we have. And it's like, oh, I didn't know that. And it's like, I love their artwork. But Mr. Mouse Diva saw this one. And um, he was like, I want this one. So, yeah, not a t-shirt, but this is what he wanted. And I think this was $30. I think they were like $29.99 and just very comfortable feeling. But so he, and you know, it says Gideon's Bakehouse. So he got this one. And then I got, <laughs> what does this even say? I don't know. dus que vida. I don't even know. Moss. Deuce K V. I'm gonna have to ask Skyline what this says. Pfft, I don't even know what this says. Much because I don't know. Sk Skyline's the the four years of Spanish. But anyway, I got this one, which actually I think this guy was October's artwork. To tell you the truth, so oh, maybe they have one every month. Because this one, ooh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like talking, I'm like thinking out loud. But anyway, this is my t-shirt. <laughs> love this, this design right here. I, I just love their artwork. So I am going to be on the lookout for more t-shirts every time we go to Gideon's. Okay, let's talk Baby Diva. At two months old, obviously, it was her first Disney trip. So, hello. <laughs> um, 1999 for my first trip Walt Disney World. Just a little onesie. And let me tell you, I did find some other infant clothing. But I'm sorry, I'm not paying $35 for a little you know, outfit that she's going to grow out and to grow out of in two months. And I know I can save it for other grandchildren, but yeah, I just wasn't, in, it's like, it's Christmas time. I got to buy presents. I wasn't in the position to do that. So I did do this and I did the little tradition when the kids were younger and we used to go to Walt Disney World a lot less. Um, so in 2007 was their first trip. We only went to Magic Kingdom and you know they're they're young and so i let the girls pick out a mini mouse that was probably probably about this tall a little plush mini mouse and lakeland got a mickey and back then they used to have like really 
cool different themed ones they'd have holiday ones like one year skyland picked out um like red like pirates of the caribbean and the mini mouse her foot even said pirates of the caribbean and she was in a, a red dress with the red hat and one year langley had got the pink like sleeping beauty dress a pink princess her she had the princess hat Minnie mouse was wearing one year skyland got the old vintage black and white looking mini uh, Lakeland also had a Pirates of the Caribbean themed Mickey. So they got to pick one because they went in 07 and then they didn't go again in 2010. And then they went in 2012. So they, I think they only, and then maybe one more trip each. So they only have like four because at that point we started going more often. And it's like, okay, we're not getting you one every single time now. And on the tag, I would put the year and how old they were. And the tag stayed on. It wasn't a plush that they played with. It was a collector item. You know, a souvenir that, you know, it wasn't for playing. And I'm like, so I had told Lingley, I said, well, I need to start a tradition with Baby Diva. Because obviously I'm going to be bringing her. It's like, well, do I want to do like a t-shirt? Do I want to do an ornament? Um, should I do a plushie? And she's like, you got to do a plushie. Because, you know, that's what Langley had. Then this dilemma started. I saw this big, huge 50th anniversary. And this is not the size that I would be getting her every year she went. But because her first visit was during the 50th anniversary and that she was born the year of, I mean, she was just born a few days um, shy, you know, a few days before their actual 50th. She was born September 27th. So she almost made it. <laughs> almost made it to October 1st to be born. That would have been so cool. But anyway, so I went ahead and got her this one. And this was $29.99. And this would be just a special one-time thing. Then the other mini, this is about the size mini that she will be getting. And this was $22.99. And this is about the size of the, I think the girls mini was just a tad bit shorter. I don't, I think, because her legs just look really long. But here's the thing. Now, luckily, I loved this one. I loved the, the old vintage look, the feel of it. It's not like the other plushies like this. It has a different, almost velvety feel to it. And I'm lucky that I loved it because it was the only Minnie Mouse anywhere that they had. Um, I, I just think other than like a bigger, plain Minnie with the um, red and white um, dots, polka dots. So, this will be the size that she will be getting. And hopefully, Disney will continue to come out with, like, some more themed ones. Oh, because like I was saying, oh, uh, the themed ones. Like, one year, Skylin got a Valentine's Day one. Because we her birthday is February 8th. So, we went during her birthday. And the Valentine's Day mini was out. So, that was one of hers. And I remember they used to have St. Patrick's Day. They would have holiday Mickey and Minis that were, like, this size. I just haven't seen them in a long time. It's very depressing. But, so Baby Diva has two. I will keep the tags on there. And I will end up writing the year and how old she was. Actually, it was the month and year. So we knew which when they went. It was the month and year. We all got little lays from the Polynesian. We didn't stay there, but we did go into the Polynesian um, to eat at Captain Cook's. And they gave us all lace. And this is, oh, this is nothing. This, we, Tommy Bahama. Tom had like this huge coupon. And this would have been 110, like no can do. But he ended up only paying 60 for it because of the coupon he had. Ooh. <gasps> I know y'all are confused, right? <laughs> Very confused, aren't you? You know, I'm a huge popcorn um, bucket collector. And when we were there over Halloween, they had already sold out of these. They didn't have this popcorn bucket anymore. 
and I had gotten the 50th anniversary Mickey popcorn and I did find that one and I posted on Instagram do you follow me on Instagram that I found you know a picture of it was happy I found it because it wasn't there the first day we were there but what I really wanted was this one and they'd sold out well luckily the Disney sisters mom Disney sisters they have their own YouTube channel um saw my post and they had an extra that they were willing to sell me and I was like yes so while I was there we met up and um I was able to get that Mickey oh I love that popcorn bucket speaking of meeting up with people Jesse over at Jesse's Neverland um she has a YouTube channel Instagram anyway she is a great like artist I mean she draws and paints so well she will sometimes paint river rocks and hide them at the Disney resorts or at Disney Springs because you're really not supposed to hide anything at the parks um, and then post on Instagram a picture of her rock and saying where she um, hid it and then people could you know go find it and it's theirs well the day we were at Epcot her and her mom were there and we met up and look she painted Jiminy Cricket for me so this is great she paints it she seals it to protect it um so it's a little Christmas present she even says on the back Merry Christmas 2021 and it has her Instagram and her YouTube channel name on there. I mean, isn't this awesome? But wait, there's more. So then we talk a little bit more and then she reaches into her backpack and she says, well, I have one more for both of you. And I forgot how she, that both of you are gonna like or something. She worded it something like that. And I knew right away, I'm like, it's chipmunks and yes and right away i noticed i'm like oh my gosh this is like the jim shore chipmunk figure that we have because the jim shore figure is chip and dale and it has the candle snuffer and um you know dale has like he's going to snuff out um chip's head um or vice versa. I'm sorry. It's Dale that has the flame. So if you look closely. And that's just like the Jim Shore. So this one Mr. Mouse Diva has claimed. And he puts. Um, he'll actually put on his desk all year round. But during Christmas I'll probably have. Um, they'll probably go in our display table. With all of our Wilderness Lodge stuff. Because it just kind of goes in there. So jesse again thank you so much for painting these for us we totally adore also them met up with um some friends that don't have youtube channels yes we have friends that don't have youtube channels disney friends actually met jessica and eric a few years ago at the pin event in epcot we were standing in line i think i was right in front of them and of course you know you stand in line for a while and we struck up a friendship and then like the next time we were there, um, they came down because they live elsewhere in Florida. And uh, when Mr. Mouse Diva and they met Mr. Mouse Diva. But anyway, she had <laughs> from the Gingerbread Mystery Box series. Um, you know, I had opened a few of those and I will link that video up now. But I really wanted Orange Bird and I did not get Orange Bird. And look what she gave me. She gave me an Orange Bird. Oh, I love Orange Bird. So, Orange Bird collection is right over there. And it's getting ready to go right over there with all the other Orange Bird memorabilia that I have. Okay, let's just go ahead and do it. And let's do the lounge fly i had actually been looking at the christmas dooney bag the christmas dogs really really liked it um but it just was not in the budget and i'm so glad i didn't get it because later on when we were at the riviera found this they had just 
came out. This is the only place they had them was the Riviera. It is a DVC lounge fly. I'm so freaking excited because first of all, I love anything with patches or travel patches or postmarks anything like that I just love so it has the vacation club emblem here you open it up love the inside and um, it does have the two side pockets both sides so this one is Mickey uh, I can't tell on top of his suitcase and then this DVC and you know, just Disney vacation club and um, so let's open up and the inside also is the same yellow and blue so there's no zipper or anything no zipper just plain so the inside is the same as that pocket so I'm super excited they used to years ago they had a DVC Dooney and Burke bag um, but again, wasn't in the budget. Didn't end up getting it. Actually, they've had quite a few now that I think about it. They, they've had a couple of DVC ones. So, much more affordable with the lounge fly. And $74.99. Absolutely. This feels like, um, like a suede. Like a fake suede. Um, actually, you know what? That Minnie Mouse that I think I had the words I used was, uh, velvet, but suede. Minnie Mouse is a suede feel, not a velvet feel. Ah, oh, the thing didn't come to me. Okay, so, um, parents. So, my parent, Disney, our dog, stayed at my parents' house. And, um, to help with him, um, and Lakeland's uh, lizards. We had to take them over there. My dad helped with them. Um, my niece also helped with our dog Disney. So I'm going to insert a um, picture of the Christmas ornament that I brought back for her because it was on her wish list. And then our first, um, and then when we were at the Contemporary, um, I saw this and knew that they just had to have it. They love Haunted Mansion stuff, and of course, they have a couple dogs, so this worked out perfect. So that's what I brought back for them, and then for my parents, um, this is what I brought them. During our Bucky stop, other than like stuff that we got like, right then there i think tom had no he didn't get fudge i got banana pudding um on the way down as part of my lunch was not a fan of the banana pudding um we got little sandwiches and stuff but like as a package stuff i um, have to get the bucky's beaver nuggets um you saw i got my dad some and um tom got some i tried the chocolate banana nut granola bites for the first time and i really really liked them they were good as you can see it's almost empty and then tom was super excited he loves corn nuts and they're kind of hard to find and these were only 99 cents so he actually ended up getting two packs i stop ghirardelli i'm the one that actually wanted to go in there i was like ah oh, let me see if they have anything interesting that i can give as gifts but nothing like special or that interests me but tom Norm, actually, Tom normally gets the big, huge bags that are like 30 bucks, I think. Those really prepackaged. But he just did the thing where, like, you fill it up as, as long as it can close, um, then you're good to go. And I forgot how much this was. Uh, I totally don't remember. So, like, he just stacked them good. And then he went back because then I had noticed, wait, they had dark chocolate peppermint bark? So, and I'm really hoping it's actually, like, dark. Because one of the other ones, it said, I think, milk chocolate, peppermint bark. 
but it was white. It was white chocolate, and it's like, that's not milk chocolate. So I'm really hoping this is dark chocolate because I prefer dark chocolate. I don't, I don't like white chocolate really at all. It's too sweet. So comment below. Are you a dark chocolate, a milk chocolate, or a white chocolate person? Um, yeah, I love, so he got all sorts of, most of them are dark chocolate in here. Some raspberry, but mostly dark. That's what we, that's what we prefer. Okay, guys, so we'll be um, sharing the vacation vlogs actually on my Life's a Whirlwind channel, um, even except for the Epcot day. Nope, actually, that's going to be on Life's a Whirlwind too. So th that's, this entire trip will be over on that channel. Um, I'm still uploading. Um, hmm, I'm still uploading from last year's October trip. <gasps> yeah, it's sad. And then I also have our uh, Halloween trip from this year. Yeah, I said last October. We were in the beginning of October. That's when we went. This time we went during Halloween. And uh, we stayed at Boulder Ridge and Lakeland was with us. So those vlogs are going up also. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And please go over to my family channel. Because obviously I've mentioned it enough that you, you know, it's probably in your head. Life's a whirlwind. Life's a whirlwind. Life's a whirlwind. All right, guys. See you at the parks. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I've been all around the